Hey, this is Zero at Review Zone HD, and I'm bringing you guys a review of Dark Souls for the PlayStation 3. This one took me some time to actually put together, which is a good thing, because if I had done a review on my first few hours on the game, I think I probably would have made a lot of you guys mad on this one. But luckily, my mindset about this game changed dramatically after I passed the 10-hour mark. This game is obviously getting a lot of attention because of its difficulty, and most major review sites are giving the game nearly flawless scores. But there are some issues with this game, so let's go ahead and get into the review. The graphics on the game were one of the first things that myself and a few of my friends noticed that was wrong with this game, and a lot of you guys are commenting giving mixed results on this one, but the game actually doesn't look that good graphically. Now part of the reason is because of the actual scale of the game, so it's understandable for it to lack a little bit of polish here or there. Your actual character, the weapons, spells, and enemies that you're fighting all look great for the most part, but the environment that you're actually in doesn't look too good in some areas. There's also an issue with the frame rate dropping sometimes. If there's a lot of enemies on the screen or a lot of magic going on, it does happen, but I've had it happen with nothing around me as well. But neither of these issues ruin the experience the game offers. In fact, most of you guys may not even notice or even care. Once you see a boss that's 100 feet tall and swinging a weapon that's probably just as long, these minor issues I'm referring to will easily be forgotten. And the frame rate issue really doesn't happen that, that often, maybe once every hour or two. And when it does happen, it usually goes away pretty quickly and it's not going to get you killed. So it's not that big of an issue again. You pretty much can't make a review or even talk about this game without mentioning the game's difficulty. I actually seem to have found the first 10 hours on here a lot harder than what most people did, and the game's difficulty is really going to factor down to a few things. How well you're prepared by watching video walkthroughs or reading a strategy for the game, if you go in the actual correct direction and tackle the game in the correct order as far as the stages and bosses go, and if you build your character and wear the proper gear correctly. Also learning enemy timing and just being patient with the game is also critical as well. So as long as you hit a few of these, uh, and you don't have to hit all of them, but at least maybe half of them, you shouldn't have too tough of a time on here, but anything short of that, and you may struggle the first few hours on the game after you clear the first two bosses. The game can feel a bit overwhelming in difficulty, but the key is just to be patient, and once you start leveling up and unlocking better gear, everything on the game becomes 20 times easier. It's just a matter of reaching that point. Just like with the last game, Demon Souls, the background music and chilling sound effects play a huge role in setting the right tempo for what you're actually dealing with in this game. When the music changes from one extreme to the next, it can really grab your attention and change your mood even when you're playing. The soundtrack in the last game was pretty epic and just like a good horror movie will keep you on the edge of your seat. And this one lives up to those expectations and then some, so the sound definitely gets a thumbs up on here. Now, I said in the first impressions video that I did that I didn't feel this game deserved a 9.5 out of 10 that IGN had given to it. Well, I'm here to tell you guys I was wrong on that one. It does deserve that score. I was a bit hasty with my decision after getting absolutely mauled on this game for the first 10 hours. The game is very deep, and the actual world design, while it may seem unusual and unfamiliar for those that are familiar with playing Demon's Souls, it actually worked out really well. The issue with the graphics can all be overlooked, but there is one thing that I do need to point out now that I'm 20 hours in and did some research on this. There still doesn't appear to be any way to easily co-op with a friend. It's easy to join up or co-op with a random person, but for those of you out there like me that were looking forward to joining up and playing with a friend, all I can say is good luck. The game has multiple different servers and you both have to be on the same one to co-op together and myself and our friend tried for over an hour with no success, but graphics and co-op gripes aside, the game is worth getting and playing if you can stomach the early difficulty, but once you reach the level you can actually stay alive and start taking down the more bigger and badder stuff that's on this game, it's hard to match that rush that you can get compared to anything else. 
There's no game in recent memory that actually made me nervous to play offline other than Demon's Souls. So if you're looking for an edge of your seat kick in the pants type of experience, you won't find anything better than this game on the PlayStation 3. Anyways, this is Zero at Review Zone HD, and I'll be bringing you guys more reviews soon.